great. Got some rain outside. That's what I needed more of. Rain. <laughs> some thunder. It's time to visit the Desert Eagle Bar and Grill, the enemy safe house. And go collect that for ourselves. Yeah. We've arrived at Desert Eagle Bar and Grill. There it is, lined up like that. Real men fight with fists. And no, you can't come in. We don't adhere to your definitions. There we go. Fuck that display case. Judas Priest! Make no mistake, these soldiers that we're fighting are most certainly dangerous. We're just not giving them the opportunity to fight us. Because we are incredibly clever. And brave. Boss. The CCS leader is ready for you, this lieutenant there. CCS Lieutenant shoots at Grimoth with an AA-12 shotgun. He hits Grimoth's body striking twice to no effect. That soldier cr crawls off sobbing. The leader has been defeated. Woof. We took blast from a shotgun. A-12. Straight to the torso. Gunfire still ringing in their ears. The squad revels in their victory. The CCS founder wasn't here, but for now, their power has been severely weakened. Once the safe house cools off, this will make a fine base for future liberal observations. We'll break it off at this point. We'll leave Ernie there filled with heart and confusion. Yes. We've hit the notorious Desert Eagle Bar and Grill there. We're now actually going to be relocating not to it at this time. We'll buy a flag. Yeah. Note that we can't invest in this locale either. We can't even buy rations, which is unfortunate. We can't hold out and prepare ourselves for a siege at all. Okay. Got some new M16s to recruit. That was Recruit. <laughs> ah, you silly bitch. We also got ourselves some two-dimensional heavy body armor. Ceramic. Neat. Hmm. There were blue screens there and thought, like, eh, you know... I got an idea. Hey. Melvany. Okay. Melvany and Victoria, I'm gonna have you two do different things. I could have them sell embroidered shirts and that'll work on their tailoring, or I could also just send them to school. We'll have them sell embroidered and tie-dyed shirts, respectively. I got plans for them. Them chillins. It's like, who has my ceramic armor? Looks like uh, Cheryl and Melvany, Melanie do. It's cool. It's good to know. Cheryl? Why don't we go ahead and equip some normal body armor on you? Even that damaged heavy body armor. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take, take it back. Take it back. Do that. Can also equip you with the seal suit. Ah, they're damaged too. Whatever. That's fine. No matter if you're flashing at me angrily. Then Melanie here. Ugh. 
Quality 3 is not as strong, but I still think that's better than the army body armor. At least have some minor limb protection. He said, scratching his chin uncertainly. Let's move this stuff. Uh, we'll move that. We'll move that for now. We'll we'll get that stuff after we transition to our next location that we're staying at. Cool. We gotta move. We don't have to. I'm moving. To the condos. Swift as a coursing river. Alright. Bar and grill. James Condos. Let's move that stuff over. Yeah, yeah, I think that's I think that's good. And we shall lose our train of thought. As one does. Move there. Give me the expensive suits. All six of them. Okay. Unequip. Go for it to stop evil. The Gentleman's Club. Now that we have a club security person stationed there, uh, we'll, like, if they're actually standing at the door, uh, keeping guard, all of us will be allowed to walk in. All of us. All of us. Yes. Smirks and lets the squad in. Ladies aren't supposed to be here, of course. Hillbilly. Uh, second thought, don't say anything. Let's arrange a date for Phyllis, Candace, or Dorothy. Or talk. Candace. Can I lick your forehead? You can lick all my decals off, baby. Great. Corporate. Bunch of corporate managers, police officer, a redneck. Phyllis. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven? Actually, I'm a succubus from hell. And you're my next victim. Great! Yay. Plenty of disguise that we're getting in here as we're blending in. Dorothy's is not that great. Don't feel like recruiting anyone here, so we're out. Hopefully having two folks lined up will be great. The Fallout Shelter is the next location. Philip Honeycutt. I was misreading that name. Okay. Heavy body armor. Heavy body armor that's two-dimensional. Okay. Then the army body armor. Nine, 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 nine. Nine. Six. Let's move the expensive suits back. Damn inventory management. Inventory is full. Great. You have a hot date. They'll work on repairing that stuff. It'll be fine. Well, you three. What the hell am I thinking? I meant to assign them all to community service. Silly Grimoth. It's cool. Fine. It's fine. Whatever. Not allowed to use the numpad enter on some things. All right, Phyllis got herself a totally unconditional love slave. 
Maybe they'll break off that meeting. Have ourselves another friend. And it's time once more to act. Where's the fallout shelter at? There we go. Silly growth. Let's venture out. Go forth to stop evil. Let's select it again. The conservative scum blocked the door. You're gonna stir up the hornet's nest, fool. Maybe we want to. The alarm goes off. We kick in the fucking door. And then unlock that one. Fuck that case. And no engagement stop us from getting the CCS lieutenant a quickly scatter to defend him. The hair stylist goes down in a rain of gunfire. Lieutenant loses his fucking left leg. Hicks' body gets blown apart, as does the soldiers. Mailman gets thoroughly eviscerated by the M249. And the good old boy is the only one left standing because the CCS lieutenant is missing a leg. No. No. That damage is not enough to stop the lieutenant fueled by the power of conservatism, wisdom ringing true, despite having lost a leg and taking three shots in the body, lifts the A-12 up and hits Candace's body twice. Good old boy tries to hit the founder of the liberal crime squad himself. But there's no effect. Earth returns fire! Good old boy is blown apart. Truly a worthy adversary. Finally, after numerous shots go into that heavy ceramic armor, because God forbid we hit a head or take out another limb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there, that's no surprise the armor is that badly damaged at that point. Good heavens. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. We win! The CCS lieutenant lying dead at their feet. The squad slips away. The CCS founder wasn't here, but for now their power has been severely weakened. Once the safe house cools out, cough, this will make a fine base. Another secret spot. Can't invest in this one either. Except to buy a flag, because freedom. Merp. Yep. Um, let's move this stuff. The Salutans. I want to take this. I guess I'll take that too. I don't think I'm going to wear this, but I can keep it. Pretend like I'm going to do something with it and then promptly forget it. As is my birthright. Don't judge me. Smith Auto Insurance. Uh, yeah, Smith Auto Insurance. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> All right, we've reached the month's end. But before we go, we're not done yet. Auto Insurance. Give me those expensive suits blocks. Halo. Damn it. There we go. Splendid. Unequip the weaponry. And let's head back out to the Hoover's Gentleman's Club. Or Gentleman's Club. Our sleeper once again at the door. Candace, Dorothy. Perhaps Grimmeth, really anyone, is viable. Rube! Stop thinking about it and come over tonight. Another Rube? Dorothy. <laughs> Dorothy. 
thought I'd try. <laughs> I appreciate that. That was that was entertaining. Oh shit. Stay away from... Oh, damn, country boy. I was thinking about that imminent scientist back there that I wanted to stay away from. Damn it, I did it again. Distracted by the rain outside. That's what's happening. Silly Grimoth. Walked away from two good old country boys. Ew, Billy. There we go. Let's go. Ah. The Robert E. Lee Bunker. 22 Wisdom. <whistles> That's your work cut out for you. Human test subjects dying under genetic research. Ooh. Supreme Court makes a decision to protect the unborn child. I think uh, we're going to be seeing another elite liberal amendment here. Those issues, by the way, forced through by Congress. The elite liberal Congress is proposing an elite liberal amendment. As Congress can propose amendments too. The following former citizens are branded arch conservatives. They will not serve on the Supreme Court. They will be deported to conservative countries of the president's choosing to be replaced by proper justices. It's a proper noun. Also the president's choosing with the advice and consent of the Senate. In short, they gotta be elite liberal, cause fuck you, president. Yup. Congress feels strongly about that. But the states do not, and they reject it. Lost some traction there with the states. So, the elite liberal Congress is left fuming. Dejected, glaring at the states. But don't worry, everyone. Congress acts every month in this game. So, hey. Also, whoops. Keep volunteering. Keep the dream alive. Also, properly equip the... The battle armor. Yeah. It'll be a big deal what we're about to do. As soon as we get that map. We never get that map. Now made myself sad. <laughs> Alright, let's move the suits back. It's a shame we can only act with six people in the squad at once instead of just buying multiple cars and showing up at the same locale simultaneously, being able to act with everyone simultaneously. Something big's about to happen, though. As soon as Candace makes the magic happen. Working on it. Slow and steady. We're warming that frozen heart. 6 and 16 now, 7 and 15, 8 and 13. Fuck. Hands up, you're under arrest. Whoosh. Gone like the wind. But we are incredible like that. All right. Eleven heart and ten wisdom now. Twelve and nine. Killer food. Over a hundred people become sick from genetically modified food. Thirteen and seven. There we go, at the Robert E. Lee Bunker, which is out there on the city outskirts. Ministry of Peace, by the way, still under high security. That is a thing that maybe you'd want everyone to be kitted out with in 
full and complete and awesome heavy body armor instead of the reality that we're currently in because eh, I just couldn't be bothered, you know? Just couldn't be bothered. It is most certainly impossible, but we'll make do with what we got. We'll make do with what we got. They can keep selling embroidered shirts anyway. That's quite all right with me. Let's see, how far is the video gone? Nah, we won't. We won't, we won't delay this. Let's have it be done, or us be done. One way or another. These are the skills we're going in with. Let's do it. Liberal Crime Squad has arrived at Robert E. Lee Bunker. Conservative scrunt scum blocked the door. Whoa, you think you're coming in here? You fucking damn right we think we're coming in here. Bam! It's a good room. It's a good room. Biker and soldiers stand at the doorway, guarding the boss. We reload. The CCS leader is ready for you. With a hillbilly, a redneck, a good old boy, a hairstylist, and elite security. Could have been worse folks supporting the founder. LCS founder versus CCS founder. Hairstylist goes down. Lee shoots the founder twice. His lung is blasted. Hillbilly loses a right arm. Elite security loses the body. Redneck gets eviscerated by M249. The good old boy breathes his last. Conservative crime squad founder asks for mother. And Hillbilly soils the floor. Hillbilly is blown apart. Lee hits the founder's body three times. The conservative crime squad founder breathes heavily, coughing up blood, then is quiet. The conservative crime squad has been broken. Gunfire still ringing in their ears. The squad revels in their final victory. As your liberals pick through the remains of the safe house, it is increasingly clear that this was the conservative crime squad's last safe house. The CCS has been completely destroyed. Now, wasn't there a revolution to attend to? 200 juice to everyone for eradicating the conservative crime squad. One of them was rumored to have cried out, We'll melt your heart. <sighs> nice. Now... A rampage in conservative crime squad can actually help you with influencing the issues because they're raving and going out of control as they're wont to do. But just have that all knitted up and taken care of right now. Within one episode. Put our minds to it and just BAM! Done. Then no more. Their goodies are ours, including the R. Yeah, the Robert E. Lee bunker. Don't know why I stopped that sentence. <laughs> we'll fly a flag there, too. It, like the other locales, has some nice security. Unfortunately, I can't fortify it or do anything cool with it or, you know, put food there. Can't invest in any way other than buy enough lag for it, so I know. Dumb, right? Completely dismantled the conservative crime squad, though. It will never trouble us again, not in this playthrough. <sighs> good times, good times. Casually move ourselves away. From the police raid? Always just one step ahead? We still have the three vigilantes that we recruited. Okay. That's three safe houses broken. Conservative crime squad broken. That's 200 juice for everyone. That's right. Even the sleeper liberal judge here is an urban commando and thus can actually expand your sleeper network. 
Neat. We can recruit even more sleepers. More. The sleeper has awakened and ended this damn video.